Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dgamerguru.com. Today I'm working in Affinity Designer to show you the use of global colors in two examples. One are the Christmas baubles, seeing we're heading into Christmas time, and the other one will be stars later on. In this case, I created a simple bauble and used a color overlay to recolor them in red. The red is set as a global color and I can easily change all three colors plus the glow with changing one color within the swatches panel. By double clicking on the swatch color I bring out the color menu and can change the red to let's say a green or a blue by just sliding the HSL slider. The drop down menu at the top lets you change to your preferred color scheme. You can change it to RGB or work with the wheel. I find the HSL the simplest. Now another nice thing about the global color is it works on gradients as well. So if I give that one bubble a gradient from red to my second global color which is the purple, I can then go in and change that and it will adjust the gradient accordingly. Let's start a new project from scratch. I'll create a star, give it no outline and no fill to start with, adjust it and then go in and give it a new color. I add a global color to my swatches, set it to yellowish orange, assign it not to the stroke but to the fill and now I have created a third global color within my swatches panel. I create another one, a darker orange and use the gradient again for all the stars that I will create from here on. To make it a little bit more appealing visually, I add highlight and shadow to the star. I group the three layers and start rotating, scaling and placing those stars all over the screen. The transparent stars in the background will get a slight blur just to make it look more interesting. Now that I have a bunch of objects on the screen I can start playing with the colors. I open the color panel and change the gradient. As you can see it changes all the objects instantly no matter if it's the shaded or the flat transparent version of the star. I can always go in and assign global colors to objects by selecting the object and just clicking on the color to assign that particular global color to the object. I can quickly revert the colors back to the last change by using the undo. Where would I use global colors? The most obvious to me is in print design where I design labels or logos that use different shapes, different patterns, but the same set of colors. So I can design in different shapes with different fonts and just keep my colors consistent. Something I can't do when I'm using, for example, symbols. I can change instances of the symbol, but all symbols would have the same shape. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something new, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see on my blog, in my channel and I will see you again soon.